Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Why I Love Flagler County, your local podcast spotlighting local businesses and local residents on why they enjoy being in Flagler County. So today I have our guest, Mr. Stephen Oliver, with us today. Thank you so much, Steve, for coming on and sharing a few minutes of your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Macy. Of course. Well, for a little background, Stephen and I know each other through BNI, which we I've had we've had a few BNI members on the podcast already, which is super great. That they're just such a great group to give back in referrals. So if you have any interest in BNI, definitely reach out to your local chapter. Um, so Stephen here does digital marketing, and you've been doing that for quite some time now, is what I remember you saying. So it's super cool. So I'll let you go into that in a second. Um. So you don't technically live in Flagler County, but you do a lot of networking. You do a lot of business in Flagler, so it works out perfectly. So why don't you share a little bit on your story and what brought you to Florida? It's kind of a fun fun story that brought, and that a lot of people I think can resonate with, with what brought you down here. Well, thanks for having me, Macy. Yeah, I think like a lot of people, um, moving to Florida, right, for the warm weather. I've uh, been visiting down here since I was a small kid, and I always envisioned uh, moving here. So it was a dream to come down here. Um, my sister moved down probably 20 years ago. My brother moved down about five years ago from Detroit and visiting um, down here in the wintertime, like most of us in the Northeast, uh, I got tired of the cold um, and the family bought in and we moved down. Um, took us a few months to find a house um, three years ago when everybody was moving down, but we found a house in Ormond and we absolutely love it down here. Yeah, Detroit representation. Ooh, yeah. I still have <laughs> I still have my Michigan pride, which is maybe not it's like a random place I think to have like a lot of pride from. I have like the Texas side pride for Michigan, which doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, but that's so cool. I'm glad that you're able. I mean, recently it's been a little dreary that us in the north are like, why why did we come down here? Yeah. This is this is the sun we're gonna get. Right. The lack of sun. Eighties <laughs> this week. It's going to be 80. It's going to be 80. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's, is it warmer today? I think oh, it it's is. a lot nicer today. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I think yeah. you can see the sun. So right. hopefully it's looking up now for the rest of the year. We're looking right. better. <laughs> um, so that's awesome. So I'd love for you to talk a little bit about the company you work with and what you do to help people. Cause I know you have a lot of people down here and then you can help people really wherever, honestly. Yeah, Macy, um, I've been with um, Local IQ for about 14 years. Uh, originally started with the company was called Reach Local. They started about 20 years ago. And really the goal was to help local businesses with their online digital marketing, you know, and that really is online lead generation. Um, the company was bought by Gannett about five years ago, and we rebranded under Local IQ about two years or so ago. So again, I help local businesses with their online digital presence and most of the time it's online lead generation. So I meet with small to medium sized businesses. I sit down with them, learn more about their marketing strategies, um, their marketing goals, um, their business goals, and really help them to achieve those goals. Each company I work with is, 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 is a little different. Each strategy is a little different. Um, so there's a lot of benefits with working as an agency such as Local IQ because we're able to track all of the progress that's going on with the campaigns. And we have historical data from the thousands of campaigns that we run for each vertical. So that's my unique selling proposition is really the tracking. Um, you know, my 14 years of, of being in the industry, the company being around for 20 and having that data. So when a client comes to me and says, hey, Stephen, what can you do for me? Well, I can say, hey, we've run 400 campaigns for HVAC companies the last two years. This, these are the expectations. And if you spend X, I can more than likely get you this. Mm -hmm. So um, I really like what I do. And I think it's most important. I think what people seeing me is I like helping. So it's not all about is getting as much dollars I can as a client. It's about helping them get to where they need to be. And that's a great one benefit of BNI is being a BNI. I can pull in trusted partners to help my client get to where they want to be. Yeah. And I can definitely sense that because, uh, you know, I've been in, I've been going to BNI for about a little bit over a month now, I think maybe a month and a half. And I can definitely see that in you there. When my dad mentioned like he wanted to do some local events, you're like, I want to help. I want to bring people. I just want to give value, give back to the community. Mm -hmm. uh, and so like a free lunch and learn and just stuff like that, events like that. And it's so cool. I don't think I kind of realized, but that makes total sense that you're able to pull existing data 
from kind of maybe the ever-changing social media world, digital networking world, I think people can get scared, but I think people should also realize there are patterns and those patterns will never really change. It's just maybe the way that you find those patterns might change through the years. Like maybe it's no longer on Facebook, maybe now it's on Instagram, but this is what has historically worked when it comes right. to wording and offers and products. And then this is how we can really talk to that group that you want to target. Uh, those things, those things never really change. Yeah, and people put their trust in me, right? And they put their mm -hmm. hard-earned dollars, um, you know, invest them into me and, and the company that I work for, and they want results, right? And what makes me be able to sleep at night is knowing that we're putting their trusted dollars uh, into a product that is tried and true and proven, not me or the company spending their money monthly trying to figure out what's working what's not working and getting that data and collecting that data for six months then going wow now we know what we're doing we've got the data mm -hmm. we have the data from the beginning and we implement that based on what they're looking to do and accomplish yeah i mean that makes total sense and that's so awesome that you're able to work with such you know you're able to help local people by using mm -hmm. data that other people kind of around the country are using and are yeah. doing and it really helps like, okay, I have this big data pool to pick from. Right. And I can literally, because so many tried and true, there are so many ways. And it's not a random person on YouTube telling you, it's not a random Google search, mm -hmm. Reddit post. No. It is real stuff that you have personal connection. Like, yeah, I know what, like you mentioned, um, HVAC, other companies like that might need to know when they go into digital marketing. And just to be clear, um, we don't use the company's information. Like we don't use it's right. ABC plumbing and uh, talk about <laughs> the leads and, you know, how well they were doing. It's just the pool mm -hmm. data. Yeah. I'm glad that you cleared that up. I'm sure you know a lot more than and can yeah, yeah, word yeah. this all a lot better than I No, am. if somebody so watching you, I don't want them using my data. Well, no, we don't <laughs> we're listening to businesses. It all exactly. gets lumped into an Excel spreadsheet and, you know, the reporting behind the scenes. Yes, and that's why you're the expert and that's why you're talking about it right, right. <laughs> because you know exactly what that is. So it's awesome. You you have you have an expert right in the backyard. Like you mentioned, 14 years of experience is so you've, you've been there, you know all the wording, you know yes. what's going on and you know how to help people in the most, like you mentioned, effective way, less on getting all the dollars and more on just making sure that company is getting the return on investment that they want. 100%. That's what it matters. Um, yep. Yeah. So I appreciate you sharing a lot about that. That makes a lot of sense. What is the best way if someone wants to reach out and learn a little bit more about you and how you can help them? Uh, maybe social media, website, stuff like that. I think one of the best things that we have is um, if a company can send me their domain name, your URL, their website address, and their three competitors, what I can do is put together what's called a digital audit. It's really I can benchmark um, that particular business against their competitors. Mm. And it looks at their SEO, it looks at their website, how well it's built, it looks at their social presence, it looks at the reviews and analytics, and it benchmarks them. So it kind of takes it off me and really puts it back on the client to help make that decision. How well are they doing online? How What's their digital presence look like? You know, and a lot of times they go, wow, that client, they're doing that much. They have a score of 85 and I have a score of 60. You know, what do I need to do? Because I'm so much better. So we have a website grader kind of tool. Um, so um, that would be a great way if, if they can give me that information. But the best way to reach me is um, usually with an email or calling my on my cell phone and reaching out and seeing how I can help. But that usually that's one of the things that, um, that we start with. And my, my cell phone number is 386-232-9211. Again, 386-232-9211. And my email address is Stephen with a V dot Oliver, O-L-I-V-E-R at local iq.com perfect i'll make sure i have that information in the description so people can click copy and paste a little bit easier and that's so cool i'm glad i asked that question i didn't even really i don't i think you might have told me but i didn't realize you did those audits so that's definitely something someone would want to look into and make mm -hmm. sure check a check on their score and making sure they can just optimize it in the best way possible and it's just to help them and make sure that your what's it, message your cause gets out the most effective way to the people they want to target and who they want to reach and who they want to help. Um, before you wrap this up, I think you're really great in networking and connecting with the community. What kind of advice would you give for either someone new to Florida or Palm Coast or may, wherever they may be listening, maybe they're somewhere else, on how they can just get a little bit more active in connecting with their local community? 
I think why a lot of us move to Florida is get out, be mm. active, you know, um, I know when I moved here, I knew, I, I knew nobody, mm -hmm. you know, I knew my brother and my sister, and they were both an hour away. I knew nothing about the really community. Um, I got involved in a church, you know, if that's something you're into, um, I'll get involved with a church, I'll, you know, visit a few and find the one that's going to be good for you. Um, there's a lot of great Facebook groups online in the community. Just search for those here in Flagler or the city that you're in and find those. Um, uh, and also, um, if you're into the business, find the local networking groups. There's all, look for the calendar of events on the Flagler website. So those are some of the things that I would say the best, best way to start possibly getting involved. I think that's, those are great places to start making sure you have, I think, like you mentioned, if church is right for you, or if there's something else along that usually causes bring people together a lot, mm -hmm. having that purpose of, you know, some people have mentioned charities in the past and, yeah. or, yep. you know, local volunteer positions. It's something like that, like something a little bit more deeper than just going to say hi to people. It's, bringing you together because you have a certain belief and you guys believe in the same thing together and side by side, that connection you can build together becomes so much stronger than just kind of a random person you see off the street. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well, thank you so much, Stephen, for coming on and sharing a few minutes. I really appreciate it. I learned a lot from your business and then also digital marketing because it's such a, I think, can be an intimidating field for some people to learn, hear those words, be like, oh, there's so much that you have to do on social media. Um, but I think you help people boil it down to the most effective ways that they can market, the most effective ways they can get real leads who want to do business with them and that's why they would definitely want to reach out to someone like you who's an expert in that and knows exactly the tried and true methods that they can use well thank you for having me Macy. of course thank you all so much for listening and i will see you all next time